Hi, Hi guys. guys! Welcome to Generation C, which stands for Culture, Creation and Connection. So my name is Grace and I'm here with Davina. And yeah. we are going to give you a tour around the school and you're going to meet our lovely headmasters and the LRCs. Don't forget to catch us up on Instagram or social media, my zone, yeah. and on television, yes TV, channel 285. But as for now, let's get chilling with the headmaster. Hi guys, my name is Rachel and we are here with Chilling with the Headmaster. Morning, Mr. Hockey. Good morning, Rachel. How are you today, sir? I'm fine, and you? I'm good. Um, I would just like to ask you a few questions. Would you like to tell us a bit about the history of the school? Okay, right. Kariba Private School uh, was a school for German learners from about after the Second World War. And the school operated until 1980 when they closed its doors. And the schools were, or the school were inactive for a few years. And in 1989, when Navaja began with their production at uh, yeah, the mine, they needed a school for the children of their employees. So formally on the 30th of April 1989, the school was reopened as Kariba Private School. Yes. So may you please tell us about the amount of learners at the school? 277 enrolled learners, 160 in the primary section and 117 in the secondary section. Yes. And I know I've been here from grade one, so may you please tell us what makes our school unique? Yeah, I always say that Kariba Private School, unlike other private schools in the country, uh, don't have the luxury to choose the cream of the crop when it comes to enrollment. We have to take what we get, mm -hmm. but we can pride or proud ourselves in it because we get that rough gem gemstones, and then we send out polished products at the end. And what have been your proudest moments at the school? Sure, my 20 years at Kariba Private School, there have been a few. But if I have to single one out, I probably think it's when the results came out at the end of last year. Um, Kariba Private School did very well in the NSSCAS as well as the NSSCO examinations. Our school improved their rankings with regard to the AS levels from 88 in the country to 9th over, overall. We can also say that we were the best in the region, in the Erongo region. One of our learners for grade 11, your classmate, mm -hmm was the best learner overall for Portuguese, foreign language. And then one of the AS learners, did, he came in 13th best for mathematics. So I think that is to be proud of. And that really shows that we are worthy of thy name. Yes, sir. Um, as a learner myself, I know that we don't always like doing schoolwork, so can you please tell us about the different clubs the school offers? Yes, um, we have a few clubs that were inactive for a few years due to COVID, but we would like to revive this year the drama club, the debating club, and then we will also start with the public speech, uh, public speech club. Then we also have the newspaper club that we have at the school. There's the environmental club, science club that prepare the learners for science fairs. We also would like to revive the commerce club, which will prepare our commerce learners for competitions like the Bank of Namibia competition, as well as taking part in the Namibian Stock Exchange. Yeah. And what have been your biggest challenges here at school? Yeah, 
The biggest challenge is when our learner total and especially the hostel border total drops dramatically from over 100 to a total of 23 learners in the hostel at the moment. And with that, it means there was also a drop in, in, in the revenue. And we know without finances, without money, everything is very difficult. That's why we cannot sometimes offer what we want to mm -hmm. us as learners. And my last question for the day is, um, we have the AS level class has a research room for themselves. Now I, want, I would like to find out when we would see the final upgrade of our class. Yeah, that's a good question because we need to, we need to do that as soon as possible. You don't have much time left at yes. the school. Uh, and we are already at the end of, of, of February. If uh, everything falls in place, I would like to say that we can expect that by before we go on recess, which is on the 17th of March. Thank you, Mr. Hockey. This was quite interesting and I've learned so much. Now let's go to the culture segment. Hi guys, my name is Edessa Abasep and we are at the School Culture. So the mine invested more than 12 million to make this place look this good. So let's go have a look.
In the vast openness of Namibia, a jewel shines bright. A space to fill your mind with progressive thought and a space for your brain to breathe. It's a place where the inquisitive thrive and the passionate pursue, where you can realize things you thought you could only dream of. This place is the University of Namibia, offering you endless opportunities for endless possibilities. Right, guys it's time to go to the LRC corner where the ain't like people do their job so yeah follow me guys my name is Grace Nabot and I'm the LRC of discipline my name is Lenita Coelho and I'm the LRC for discipline and I'm also the scriber one of the challenges that we face as the LRCs of discipline are 
learners not behaving after telling them what to do and still showing us attitude in this behavior. Adding to that, when learners come to high school, they want to act older, they want to show off to the older kids, and it's kind of difficult to work with that. When they have that, I'm older than you and I want to show you attitude. And challenges we have had was balancing our school time with activities at the school. It's kind of difficult when you're grade 11, you're almost done. We have so much work and we also have to deal with the school problems. Hi guys, my name is Rachel. Good day, my name is Mukambambi Kachiwe, the LRC at KPS, Caribbean Private School. And we are going to talk about the challenges we are facing. We faced last year as LRCs. Last year, the main challenges that we had, it was miscommunication between the teachers and the LRCs, like how we approach our learners at the school. We will end up saying different things towards the learners and which cause miscommunication. But this year, we tried. We are trying to work the thing with the teacher first before we give any information to our learners. And we also had a problem with kids violating the code of conduct, and there was no action taken toward them or being implemented towards those kids who violated the code of conduct. And this year. As the school borders and the management, they made a decision that as LICs, they give that into our hands so to prevent such type of incidents. Yeah, our pr prospective plans for this year is we want to implement a homework health club for our learners because, you know, you, you don't always understand when the teachers are explaining in class and Sometimes you are tired during afternoon classes, so during weekends or during the afternoons after school, all the learners in grade 12 and 11 can help the younger ones who don't understand the work. And also we're planning to have a talent show um, with the learners of our school as well as our neighboring school um, to raise funds for upgrading our school. As as LRCs and also one exciting thing is that we are planning to have a cooking competition for the learners and there will be prizes to be won. It should be learners that have no idea about cooking and they've never tried it in their lives but just for the fun of it we're going to have that. My name is Lucine Keister. My name is Erlis Kitao. And we would like to uplift school spirit as well as create an environment where people feel like they can showcase their talents here at the school. And also, we would also want learners to feel comfortable helping like how makkelijk it is om for us to say, I don't have a problem with this school or yeah. I don't feel comfortable with this teacher and so on and so on. Or this learner is making me feel how and how so that we can address the issue. Because they should, they should know that they have a say at the school. Yeah. yeah. I'm Nizar Grinus. I'm Philip Skovaseb. And we would like to introduce more extramural activities like soccer, rugby, volleyball, tennis, and others. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Tiano Peters. Many of uh, the school's kids know me as TJ or, or Pip, as, as they call me. This is... Uh, uh, I'm Chingundaga Pingenge and uh, my nickname is uh, Professor Pop London. <laughs> Today we just like to discuss uh, some of the challenges we are facing. As we learned when we started uh, our journeys as LRC, it's difficult to transition when many of the friends uh, say the LRCs are stuck up or they, they don't want to adhere to the rules when their friends are LRCs, but as we got used to it, we ignored those challenges and some of the kids also, the way they come from their house, uh, it's a bit rude, man. The other day, a small kid uh, said would take to me and then my blood started boiling, almost for the small child. <laughs>
and I am a RC for sport, uh, and I really enjoyed being a RC for sport because I'm a person that likes sport. Uh, and I, I, I really enjoy it, as I said. And I've experienced problems like learners coming late to classes, learners not lining up properly, learners not dressing in the in the way they're supposed to be dressed. And I'm, I'm really willing to change the, that. Since they say a dream delayed is not a dream denied, uh, so we'll still be waiting for a good change. Uh, also upon the sports, I wanted to say that many of our learners uh, don't do sports anymore. Not a lot of the kids are motivated to do sports. So because of this year, me and Kevin Gang want to uh, renew the school spirit. Because even during the morning, when we need to sing the anthems, the kids are, are quiet looking at us. And then it's just an awkward moment we, that, that we don't want to talk about anymore. Hi guys, my name is Lisa Nyango, aka the official. And my name is Franz Severin. And we are the LRC of Twin So my plan for next year is to, to change the school vibes and to make all the kids think about us when we are not here. And um, as you said, we want to change the vibe of the school. So like when the kids come to school, they share that excitement, you know, like to go to school and yeah, that's basically it. And we have to, to, to let the kids knows what we are gonna what is the use of being an LRT and understand all the things yeah so like um the plans really is like to change the school you know something that is different from um other schools or other LRCs that were here before so um we're trying to change you know 2023 from other years so that's basically it. Yeah. okay good morning my name is Colin my surname is Kale Shukriya and I'm an LRC of Karaba Private School. And today I'm here to speak to you about my aims of this year and my objectives which I want to accomplish this year, which are to improve the school and um, to uplift the school spirit and also to, in, to engage more with my learners and teachers and as well as for learners to be comfortable in talking with teachers. And also that um, I would love Karaba Private School to have a better um, facilities around for like a fence or something. If I give you lemons, be worthy of thy name. Owens, remember, keep on doing what you're doing. I'll keep on doing what I do best. Thank you for joining us here at Kariba Private School. It's bye for now.